for the first time in history, US billionaires are paying a lower tax rate than members of the working class. And the 400 richest families have more wealth than the bottom 60% of households. It's all to do with President Trump's corporate tax cuts in 2017. One of the authors of this new report, Gabriel Zuckman, is an economics professor at UC Berkeley. It's called The Triumph of Injustice. He joins me from New York. I apologize, sir, that I'm not able to be in New York with you. Blame Brexit. Sir, the, just how bad is the situation and how quickly is it getting worse? Yeah, thanks, Richard, for having me. Uh, you know, income and wealth inequality has increased a lot in the U.S. The top 1% used to earn 10% of national income in 1980, and today earns about 20% of U.S. national income. And at the same time, the tax system has become uh, much less progressive. The tax rates of the very rich have collapsed. The situation today in 2018 is that when you take into account all taxes paid at all levels of government, uh, everybody pays around 28 percent. Every income group pays around 28 percent of their income in taxes, uh, except the ultra wealthy, the billionaires, the top 400 richest Americans who pay less than every other income group. They pay 23 percent. They do that because they are able to employ a multitude of shell companies, trusts, uh, write-offs, everything. I mean, you know, the president himself has been one of the biggest offenders, according to the research from The New York Times. But what they do, it might be immoral, but it's legitimate. Well, you know, the frontier between what's legal avoidance and illegal tax evasion is pretty thin. You know, generally, if you're doing something with the sole purpose of avoiding taxes, uh, there's a provision in the U.S. tax law, like in the tax law of other countries, that says uh, that's illegal. You know, transactions need to have economic substance. And what we're seeing these days is lots of transactions that don't have economic right. substance, but like multinational companies who create shell uh, corporations in Bermuda, where nothing happens. That could be qualified as tax evasion. But... When it comes to raising tax revenues, you know, sir, that you, you make most of your money in the middle bit. I mean, I remember, I'm old enough to remember the UK, which had a top rate of tax, if you added on investor surcharge, of 98%. But the truth is, most, and indeed the Treasury, when the UK lowered the tax rate from 50 back to 45 percent, pointed out you didn't actually raise that much money at the higher levels. Well, it depends. You know, it depends if governments tolerate tax avoidance or tax evasion. You know, if you have this big industry that helps the wealthy dodge taxes and if you have loopholes in the law, then yes, you're not going to collect a ton of money by increasing tax rates. But these things change over time. You know, look at the U.S. The U.S. used to have a very progressive income tax system where the wealthy paid 55, 60 percent of their income in taxes uh, in the 19, uh, you know, in the middle of the 20th century right. because the social norms were different. You no know, avoidance, evasion were not tolerated at the time. Gabriel, do you fear we will see more evidence of inequality spilling out into uh, protest, the sort of which we've only really had a taste of? Yes, that's the main risk. You know, if, if globalization uh, means ever lower taxes for its main winners, multinational companies and their shareholders and uh, ever higher taxes for those who don't benefit a lot from it, then it's not sustainable. We're going to see more and more social unrest. And that's why if we want to make globalization and democracy more sustainable, we need to fix tax injustice. We need to make sure that those who benefit the most from economic growth, instead of seeing their taxes right. fall, pay more in taxes. I'm just curious. What do you think, and I, this, is a, this is a classic how long is a piece of string question, what do you think is the right tax rate for a billionaire? 
Well, it's not for economists to say, you know, we, we developed a website, taxjusticenow.org, where people can simulate their own tax reform and, and make up their own mind, you know, it's for the public to decide through democratic deliberation and the vote, what should be the right tax rate, where <coughs> economists like me can help is if there's a demand for redistribution and for more progressive taxation, we can make sure that taxes work, we can fix the leaks in the tax system and, and, and uh, help you know, uh, improve the tax Good. system.